So in this example, um, we want to write a program where we input two numbers, first number and second number, and uh, then basically display on the top the lowest of the, out of the two numbers and on the bottom uh, the highest one. So I mean if in the scenario where we put uh, the first one or the first number is l lower than the second number then we don't really have to do anything just put them in order in the label otherwise we have to swap the two numbers swap the order of the numbers and then put it in the label. Uh, the flowchart is given on the left so what we do is we store the values uh, of the numbers in the text box in two variables num1 for the first text box and num2 for the second text box and then we compare if num1 is greater than num2 if num1 is less than num2 then we don't do anything other than displaying num1 first and num2 sec second or displaying num1 in the first line and num2 in the second line uh, if they if num1 is actually greater than num2 then what do we do we swap the value so that num2 or num1 now contains the smaller number or the number contained in num2 before and um, now num2 contains uh, the bigger number so if we do that we can still maintain the same order uh, which we will display uh, meaning that I mean we, we we write one set of lines of codes where in the label we display num1 first and num2 after that so if you do the swapping thing if in in case num1 is greater than num2 we can still use that line of code for display and on the right side we have the pseudo code so basically store the text box values in the num1 and num2 and if num1 is greater than num2 then swap the number so that num1 now contains a smaller number and then display in a label called message label a me message stating the lower number first and then the higher number so this is a block of code uh, to write such a program so um, basically um, we start with uh, defining two integer values and here the numbers should be integer values uh, so we define in the event procedure section which is uh, af anything after private sub uh, so dim num1 as integer and dim num2 as integer so um, we define two integers num1 and num2 and now I mean the user will input some number in the text boxes so we have to um, uh, convert the text in the text boxes to integers and remember this we we already did with the try parse method so in the try parse method uh, we converted the text in these two text boxes and uh, assigned them to inf input variables num1 for the first text box and num2 for the second text box now um, for if swapping is necessary when if num1 is greater than num2 then we uh, then we define another variable called integer uh, sorry called temp which is another integer and that's basically to store temporarily the value of um, num1 in so uh, then we basically assign the value of number in temp and then assign the value of num2 in num1 and then again uh, using the temp we get the value whatever it was in num1 before into num2 so those three lines of course basically swap the two um, numbers from num1 to num2 and from num2 to num1 and that we again do using the temp right um, and so and that's the end of the if statement and then we have to display uh, num1 and num2 in a label so and that we use using the line of code given so in the text of message label we start with lowest and then after that put um, num1 whatever is in num1 and then uh, in the next line we have to 
write highest and then put whatever is in num2 now here you'll see several new things the ampersand character which is basically for concatenating meaning that you're basically putting two strings side by side so in quotes there is lowest with the space after the lowest and there's an ampersand which basically uh, puts whatever comes after ampersand um, whatever string comes after ampersand just after lowest so it first converts to string whatever is in num1 and then puts that beside lowest and then another ampersand for another concatenation and then you see the underscore which is a line continuation character meaning that even though I mean the rest of the code is in the next line uh, in here you can mentally think of it as the same line of code so we just did it in the next line to not make the thing not make the not make the thing look um, like not good so that we we maintain the alignment of the code and stuff like that so I mean th those two lines of code are basically should be side by side it's just there's not enough space to display them side by side um, and then we have the control characters dot new line um, which basically does the um, case for enter so I mean um, we uh, we want to display the second number in the next line and that's what we do for doing that so even though it's in the same label they have to be de de um, defined in two different lines and if you want to do that in any label have like text in two different or more than two lines or more than one line uh, then we use that uh, controls character dot new line so sorry control cars dot new line and it's just a constant which is assigned for the enter thingy we use in the keyboard and then again another concatenation then highest concatenation and convert to string num2 so um, I mean there are several uh, new I guess lines of course and concept I introduce in this slide and the last one would be that I mean uh, the temp uh, integer is defined inside the if statement and I mean this comes into play about you know when we talk about this life and scope of uh, variable the stem we can only it's only there as long as the if statement is running so as long as you know you're running the if statement if it's true uh, it's uh, swapping the values and once you had end once the program hits end if temp is gone there's I mean there's no existent anymore so I mean that's a variable which has very limited scope uh, and lifetime so here in the slide we I mean I recap whatever some of the things I talked about in the last slide so the scope of the variable if I mean if it's under an if else or if statement is very is very small so it can only be used within the statement block in which it was created so if it was used within an event procedure within like private sub and n sub it can only be accessed by those event uh, codes if it's used within an if else statement if it goes away once the if else statement or if statement is done and uh, we also talked about the concatenation operator or the ampersand so it connects or links two strings together um, and some examples are given on the right where you have like suppose two strings like first name last name or, or three strings first name last name and um, then you have a number age or an integer age and you want to like put them side by side so if you have like first name ampersand last name uh, and the first name is suppose Su and then Chen then they will appear side by side if you put first name ampersand then in quotes space and then last name so the space will appear uh, if you put something else some other string it will appear and the last one is like if you want to say she's 21 exclamation mark uh, the 21 is coming from the age variable you, it has an integer of 21 and so if you want want to put that within a string then you have to convert it to a string using the code and then use ampersand to like place them all together 